up to because we're bringing up a special guest. Oh, look here, look here. Where's it all gone? <laughs> we're just heading in London now. Can you right. tell me what you love about London? London, uh, getting out of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't mind London. A bit mad for me. It's class London. I, 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 no, I do like it, but I, I get Restaurants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. Listen, I take it back. It is nice, but I, I don't know if I can live here. Do you know what? We're very lucky. You know what? Even the stuff we do with the TV. and mm -hmm. There's a lot of people desperate to get into that. The TV work or whatever it might be, punditry. And there's more players, obviously, every year retiring. Desperate to get into it, so you've got to stay ahead of the game. You left behind, and, and me. You're, you're all right. You listen, you, you're, you're a brand now. You're a brand. <laughs> We're a brand. We have a double trouble. Uh, listen, we. I'm, we're not Anton Deck. Listen. <laughs> uh, I do my own thing. You do your own thing. We stopped because we're picking up a special guest. It's not my old man Harland, is it? I've never seen a man make Roy Keane laugh as much in my life. Oh, look here. Look here. <laughs> Where's it all gone? Uh, that Roy's cheerleader. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what I'm and doing you're late. <laughs> so that's what improve you. Um, oh, we've been we've had a fantastic I like your gear. conversation. How's it been? Nick, it was discussing your wages saying you must be the top paid pundit. You're the hardest working, no, I would give you the I don't think I would be the hardest working pundit at all. I think you'd be surprised. I, you'll say someone like Roy will watch more football probably than I do, and Cara definitely does. Cara do you watch every game you? all at a night if it's on? Uh, a lot of, I see, I don't, you see. You don't? I struggle with no, it. I, no, I struggle with it. What, anything to do with Premier League, I, I, I watch. Uh, everything. Every game? Physically, if I'm not working, I'm like, I'm physically doing it. I'll watch all the time. That's true. That doesn't come across. Yeah, it doesn't either. come across either, yeah. <laughs> I can tell you. Change tactics. <laughs> look at them now. Look at, look at the ITV boys now. Look at them. Yeah. They're cagging up already. <laughs> anyway, can we talk about football, please? Of course. Yes, go on. The Euros, Gary, come on. Chances for England. I think they've got a very good chance with it being at Wembley and the home crowd. You can get the fans in. The, my, my big concern, I must admit, is the defence and the goalkeeper. I think England have got a great chance. Though. I do. I do. I, I do think they've got a great chance. Just something I think we've got. You drop me off here. <laughs> I think we've got. I'm not just saying this. I think we've got the best manager we could possibly have for an international team. I think he understands international football like the back of his hand. Yeah, with the, even that experience with the 21 yeah. and all that. He yeah. understands tournaments, Gareth. I think he's got massive experience in tournaments. What was your experience when he was at the England side? I went to... I had eight tournaments. No, but as a coach, though. Let's go as a coach. Uh, the first one I enjoyed in Poland, I enjoyed that one. The Brazil, we were nowhere near. We were losing Lampard, Gerard, Terry. We lost... Like six or seven of that generation just coming to an end. It was, a, it was a completely different team. Actually, in 16, when we got beat by Iceland, that was the team I enjoyed most in the four years I was there. Really? The, yeah, because you could see talent coming. You could see some of the stuff that you see now. You could see some of the players technically gifted, better, but they weren't ready. So what about the, the group of death? France, Portugal, Hungary. Germany Hungary. and Hungary. What do you think of that? France are going through. France are definitely going through. France, yes. I think Germany. How can, how can you write Germany off? I know. Well, there's always a shock in every tournament, is there, where a team doesn't go through or qualify out of a group. Who's going to get the, the golden boot? You're going to have to mention Kane again. <laughs> no, it is. Kane comes into every conversation, doesn't he? Mbappe's got to be in there. Ronaldo. Yeah. Are, are you going Ronaldo? Hey. Yeah, well, well, what price is he for us? Is he leaving, time? by the way? Is he leaving Juventus? Where could he go? He's got to go somewhere that's like just to play, carry on playing. He'd have to go somewhere important. It's important. Actually, it's <laughs> <laughs> in your budget, isn't it? Are you staying in London for a month? Are you coming back every game? No, I'm coming back every game. How can you say it on there for a month? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I just thought you might go out for meals and stuff. Isn't yeah, yeah, I might go at the what? odd time, but you know what, Gary? The good thing about the tournament is obviously we played together, but we never quite, you know, maybe we could just <laughs> yeah, finally get to yeah. yeah. Yeah, I brought hard. you two together yeah. to rekindle things. Come on, I'm together. Days. Where, where do you want to go? Portugal for the two of the families. <laughs> yeah. Who's got the better team, ITV or BBC? Oh. You, you lost teams very good, you know. Very, very good. Suey, Keane, yeah. Neville. Young, vibrant. Uh, <laughs>
Who else have you got on your team? You've got Righty. Perfect. Patrick. What are you and uh, Vieira like now? Have you sorted any differences out? Or? Yeah, he's just pandas to me, and that's it. <laughs> He just he just finished, he got Is obviously he just he left lost, his last, last another job, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this the cut over? Oh, no, yeah. Is this the main cut? There's no like. Why do you think he's doing the pundits? Why do you think he's doing the pundits? Why do you think he's doing the pundits? That's his job. That's why we're all doing it. No, I ask the question. Why does anybody want to go back into management? I, d I just do not get it. Any yeah, yeah, coaching yeah, badges? I was going to I was going to do my coaching badges before um, I did the punditry. <laughs> literally, I got sucked in, and then famous last words. I was going to do my coaching badges. <laughs> but you can do them still, you know. I was going to be a pilot when I was young. I was going to be a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, was going to be a yeah, I just didn't do the course, right? I, I can't fly. No, you need the badge, right? Why don't you go and do your coaching badges? I put it to him. I tell you what, he'll help you with. Yeah, he'll help. <laughs> Is that I, what was, I, was, I was going to say it in a, in, in a less disparaging <laughs> way. It'll help you with your with your with your punditry. Yes, it will. It will, um, honestly. Um, and by God, you need it. <laughs> <laughs> if you do your coaching badges, you want job security. Don't go to Salford. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Go to, go to, go to, go to a job of good owners. Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. So here we are. The home of football, Wembley, for the Euros. What do you think to this, guys? It's been a long journey, McGann. It's been a you, long you, journey. You've thoroughly enjoyed it, though, haven't you? It's been great. Come on, England all the way.